proposal. Well, the Democratic majority passed it, but Republicans are not happy about it. That's right, we're talking about the state budget. Good morning, I'm Joy Lim Nacrin. And I'm Jeff Vallon. But along with the two sides still butting heads, more issues with this $37.6 billion budget continue mounting. Fox 61's Nicole Jacobs is live at the Capitol with more. Good morning, Nicole. And a charity set up to help human trafficking victims and orphaned kids with AIDS faces a lawsuit. Attorney General Richard Blumenthal says Raymond Bouchard, who runs a Have a Kids, misused thousands of dollars worth of charitable and corporate funds. Blumenthal says a whistleblower tipped his office off to the questionable money practices. The lawsuit seeks repayment and penalties. Now, in a statement, a Have a Kids says, we firmly believe that the Ahava Kids organization has done nothing wrong and any alleged financial disclosures which are alleged to be inaccurate have been rectified. We will continue to review any claimed errors in reporting and any mistakes which are found will be correct. A misunderstanding. That is what the attorney for a highly decorated Waterbury police officer says led to weapons charges against his client. Sergeant David Setzer was charged with seven counts of illegally transferring or selling firearms. This after New Haven detectives say several of Setzer's guns ended up in the hands of convicted felons and were used in shootings. It is a misunderstanding. And um, David is uh, anxious to have his day in court. Waterbury Police Sergeant was also charged with manufacturing bombs, risk of injury to a minor, and illegal possession of an assault rifle and explosives. He is on paid leave from Waterbury's Police Department. He'll be back in court October 13th. Two men accused of helping a suspected serial bank robber are now in jail themselves. Police in Westerly, Rhode Island, arrested 50-year-old Ronald Hayes of Norwich and 53-year-old Vincent Korotkowski of Westerly. They say both men helped 34-year-old Heather Brown rob a Rhode Island bank last month. Brown was arrested Monday and charged with robbing a bank in Montville. Police believe she robbed six banks in six days in Connecticut, Rhode Island, and Massachusetts. And a Wilton man gets probation for his role in what police call an out-of-control bat mitzvah party. A judge granted 52-year-old Peter Finney accelerated rehabilitation. He was charged with disorderly conduct, trespassing, and interfering with police during a bat mitzvah at Norwalk's Lockwood Matthews Mansion in June. Investigators got reports that kids were drinking and having sex at the party. The charges will be dropped if Finney successfully completes the program. 506 now. You know, I think what we're spending on heating the house, because I had to turn on the heat last night. Didn't have to turn on a nightlight, uh, though, because the moon is so bright in the sky, Joe. I woke up really and I thought I'd chilly. left the light. I'm wearing the wrong outfit. Uh, yeah, guys. Yeah, Jeff, a, a pretty picture out there this morning, indeed. A moon, a very bright. Just in time for flu season, a vaccine for the H1N1 virus. Connecticut should get its first shipments next week. At Fox 61, Jennifer Lammers joins us live at the health department with an explanation of all that. Good morning, Jennifer. Well, good morning to you, Jeff and Joy. Back at night. Jeff and Joy, back to you. Jennifer Lammers is live in Hartford. Thank oh, you very much. Those shots do, shots do hurt, but we got to get them, I guess. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, the Fox 61 morning news is just getting started. Coming up next, an emotional day in court. For Elizabeth Smart, what she's saying about her nine month abduction. And some interesting new details about the life and death of Michael Jackson, what an autopsy shows about the singer's condition before his death. And later in today's viral video, we're showing you some of the best YouTube videos of all time. Here's a sneak peek. <laughs> <laughs> That's how Reggie. I get dressed every day.